Hello everybody, my name is Josh and uh, I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> the jack of all trades is not master of none, although mastery of a particular trade does take many hours. But what we consider mastery does not mean it's complete. In other words, if you learn a career, they say, they say, it takes up to, you know, a thousand hours at least, or more, in order to master a trade. Uh, but then again, there's other levels like grandmaster. And even when you're a master of a trade, it's like they say, if the first trade takes a thousand hours, the second will take two thousand hours, because you just have to keep mastering the first. You have to continue on a, you know, a, a basis of maintaining that knowledge. And as a jack of all trades, I don't use that term often because it's often frowned upon by society, but I've changed that uh, outlook. I've spent years trying to ask myself, well, how am I going to get motivated to take on one particular career or a choice of something I want to do with my life? And it never felt right. It's what society wants. Society wants us to be really good at one thing. Now, I read a quote, I don't remember exactly how it went, but uh, it said that humans should be able to uh, cook, wash their own clothes, cook their own food, fix their own t tools and toys, and uh, this and this and this, and then at the end it said, uh, specialization is for insects. And I really related with that. You know, nature has its specialized creatures, but we as humans, we want to delve into everything. So, in order to be a jack of all trades, I think you uh, you don't have to feel like you are a master of none, and you don't have to feel like you're wasting your time. I like writing. I like writing books. I like writing poetry. I like drawing pictures. I like painting. I work with femo clay. I make jewelry. I like working with metals, silver and gold. Uh, I was a carpenter for 15 years. I love building houses, boxes, cabinets, things like that. Um, I love to uh, carve things, create walking sticks and stuff. I, uh, and th these are just my little hobbies, you know. I enjoy working with plants and terpenes and compounds. I, I like growing food. I like gardens. Um, I like researching ancient history especially. Um, I like learning about symbolism. I like learning about this and that. You name it, okay? So, I like everything. If I find a subject that interests me, I get into it. <clears throat> I was reading this one story about a guy who said he knew this dude who, you know, could uh, basically do everything. He seemed to have projects with all kinds of different people. He'd have a friend come over and they'd work on this for the weekend. Another guy would work on this. One guy said, he said, growing up, he said, I never could watch a sports game. I couldn't stand it, and I couldn't understand how people could sit there and watch the big game for three hours every Sunday. And he said, he just, he said he tried, and he just could not get interested. He was into hobbies and doing things. And that I relate to 100%. That's exactly how I feel. You know, while many of the guys around me are all ready for the Super Bowl, I'm excited because there's nobody going to be on the road that day. Maybe I can go out in the woods, you know, or go out with my family. And, uh... My interests don't lie in society's mundane shit. I just can't do it. I cannot buy into the d mental distraction. That doesn't mean that I'm above it. I love watching mindless television. I have some, you know, some shows I watch, particular shows I enjoy, but, um, you know, for the most part, I like to do my hobbies. And sometimes I find myself saying, well, shoot, you know, I should be doing something else instead of this hobby. But I'm gaining insight and knowledge from doing it. And uh, like they, that one guy was saying, he said that when the, this one guy finally decided to build his own house, and since he was knew so many different aspects, he was able to save himself a hundred thousand bucks on the building. And uh, you know, how being a jack of all trades and being aware of the full encompassing picture is so much more important than being a specialist or a master. And this is very recent. In years past, you know, say a hundred years ago, you damn well better be a specialist. 
because you know the industrial revolution is taking off we've got uh, you know people that need to be good specific at one thing to run a machine to do this or that we've automated so many things that uh, now we need to not only be able to run the machines but learn how to uh, figure out how to fix the machines and we have to be able to predict the likely outcome of our actions or what we decide and that has to be based on experience so doing research and delving into many different subjects will keep us from missing one major component you see the way that scientists stick together sometimes some of these some scientific groups are of such a tight dogmatic paradigm that it's it's all peer-to-peer -peer and specialist to specialist the layman doesn't get any time to speak their opinion because oh they're not a specialist and um, the layman may have a much wider view a full encompassing view of the whole picture and saying yes you're correct if you create this this will happen but in the long term this is what will happen and uh, when a person's a specialist, they don't tend to look past their specialty. They tend to look into what am I trying to complete and how do I get it done? And so I guess getting that wider view of everything is really important. And so I'm not going to be ashamed to be a jack of all trades. A lot of people who are tend to be considered, you know, lazy or unproductive by society's standards. But we're here to learn. And if we don't have a desire to learn, then we should create one. Because for me, waking up every day and studying something new is important. But mostly to remember that not everything I get excited about, I'm going to want to continue with, continue working on. Not everything that I delve into will be something that I will want to carry on. And I think a lot of people are afraid of that. It's the same reason why a lot of people don't want to go to college for a specific class. They're afraid they might not like it in the end. And this is why I don't wrap up too much time and resources. And this is why I couldn't go to college and go to get a four-year degree for one career. Because I know I would never enjoy it. I know that I would be into it for a few years and I would go on to something else. So, no, it's it's definitely not cost-effective way to live if you're looking to make money being a specialist will probably bring you more money if you're looking for a career but if you want to be happier and more knowledgeable I think that you have to delve into everything I just for me I like to be able to I know how to cook you know I know how to sew up my clothes if they get bad I have a sewing machine um, you know I know how to can and make jellies and jams and uh, I know how to grow gardens, and I know how to um, do the things that we face every day. Uh, working on my car if something's wrong, you know, if I can get my motivation to do it. <coughs> um, so it's the basic things in life that I think we need to know the most. You know, the things that we have to deal with all the time. Like we can call upon somebody else to help us if we need that and a lot of people choose to, to do things that way you know they put all their time into one particular uh, you know to master one trade and uh, you know they don't they don't cook they don't fix anything they don't know you know how to get things done because they've had people doing it for them for so long because they have the money to do so because their trade has brought them so much money this is fine and a lot of people do find this way I just see I want to be able to know that if tomorrow, if all the specialties were gone, if all the specialists were gone, would I be able to fare well in this world by myself without the help, without being able to ask my neighbor, oh, what do I do about this, or calling up an expert about this, you know, unplug your own drain, and <laughs> if you can. Uh, it's just a great way to see the world, in my opinion and it's not for everyone it's 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 not i don't believe that a person can just become a jack of all trades if they are a specialist and i don't believe that a person who is a jack of all trades can become a specialist i believe that these are personality traits so rather than telling people to you know pick a job or uh, telling people to get out and learn more just accept that we're different people and that we need all of our different outlooks 
on this world. We do need specialists, but we do need people who are multi multi tradesmen, and uh, I prefer the latter in my life. So hopefully, in time, I can apply it to you know. I guess a lot of people, uh, like as a carpenter, I can't do the carpentry I used to do because of my back. So I made pretty good money as a carpenter. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to make an income as a jack of all trades with no real specialty. And uh, I don't see it as a fearful thing. It's a challenge. You know, how do I do this? What am I going to do? And uh, little bits of income here and there help. You know, if I if I'm not doing well, I could. Uh, you know, sell a few uh, creations, you know, on Craigslist or uh, offer various services. I don't know. I just enjoy being aware of many different subjects. So, I don't think it's a bad thing. But it doesn't help when you need to make a lot of money and you're looking for a specific job. So, I'm out. So, peace out to everybody and uh, hope you're all having a great day.